choose well. The choice is brief and yet endless. By Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. I guess he would have loved Chrono Cross then. Hello and welcome, my character recruiting leaps. Well, with the Chrono Cross remaster out now, and the sheer amount of characters that you can recruit in that, most of them being not via story, I thought a recruitment guide would be in order. So, if you have problems, this is the right address. Warning, of course, there may be spoilers ahead. First off, we have 17 out of those 45, or, well, 44 characters, we get to that later, that you get just via playing the story. So, obviously, we don't have to go over those. So we are skipping those. Then we have characters that join you at specific story points, but only if you choose a specific choice while going through the story. This first part will be about those characters. Lena will join you at Cape Owl of the Another World, but has a bit of a hook to it. When Kit asks to join your party, decline her three times in total, and a bit after that, Lena, because you are alone, will join you because of that. Don't worry though, you will still get Kit, just a tad bit later. Then the story will split into three parts, all about getting into Viper Manor. But you will need a guide for that, and there are three options. The easiest will be Guile. He just sits there in the pub. Tell him you want him to be your Guile, and then Guide will join you. Uh, the other way around. Pierre technically is as easy, but a bit harder to find. He sits in a spare room in the armory, so you basically have to go one screen more for him. Again, talk to him, he will join, all hunky dory. Now, Nikki is the hardest here. First, you have to go to the Magical Dreamer's ship and find Miki. She will ask you to help find Nikki in the Shadow Forest, so agree to that and, well, do it. That already is all you have to do, but it's a bit more walking around and stuff. And also, Nikki is more plot relevant later on than the other two. Oh no, Kid was poisoned. Of course we're gonna help her. And Korcha will help you help her. Just to leave your party soon after. Only to soon after again join back up. Oh no, Kid was poisoned. Of course she's tough enough to get through this herself without any help. Instead of Korcha, you get his mother Macha. Yeah, weird naming sense in this family. But this is not all. Doing so also gives you access to my favorite character, and also one of the strongest characters in the game, Glenn, later on. You don't have to do anything specific for that, you just have to reach the right point. But it would be unfair to get one character in one route and two in the other, right? So you will get a second one later on if you decide to help Kit. She's also a child of Machas and is called Melcha. Uh, no, no, she doesn't do the char thing, she's just called Mel. She will steal Kit's elements at one point, and you have to agree to find her to get those elements back. After Korcha has joined your party then, go talk to her, and then she'll be all yours. But there are even two more characters joining your group based on the decision you made. If you refuse to help Kit, Doc will join later on. And if you do help her, it will be the fairy Razzly. You don't have to do anything for those, just story progression, so there you go. These were all the characters you get via story progression and specific choices in those. But we also have a ton of optional characters that you get by doing, well, completely optional things. This is their time to shine now. If you have watched me playing this game on Twitch, then you actually know this one already. For Poshul, you have to, right in the beginning, when you wake up in Arnie Village, 
go into the restaurant and upstairs where you can find a Hecarim bone. On the left side of the village then, there are training grounds where a huge pink dog walks around. Go near it, open up the item menu and give it the Hecarim bone. And greedy as she is, just for that, she will become part of your party. And while you are still here in Arnie village, also go to the fisherman's house where he says how happy he is about becoming a fisherman, giving you a shark's tooth. Because he doesn't need it anymore. Late in the game, when you arrive at the Another World Arnie Village, while having Kit or Lena on the team, go to the same guy who isn't a fisherman here and show him the shark's tooth. And then he will join you. Or not. It will be his strange voodoo puppet joining you that is hanging on the wall because of reasons. Lucha joins in a purely logical way. After you have finished everything you gotta do at Viper Manor, do the most logical thing of going right back in and talk to her on the balcony. That's it. Wait, Frank Zappa is in this game? Well, not really, but he is called Zappa. Just take Radius into your team and then head to Termina in the homeworld. Well, you can find him there, find him there, talk to him, and you got him. It's as easy as that, but you would have to know to do that. There's a little side quest in the module of the homeworld where you have to drive monsters out of the city. Or in RPG terms, kill them. After that, Go on to the SS Zelda's and talk to Miki in the restaurant there and she will join with you. Get the big egg in the Another World's Fossil Valley in the Dodo's Nest there and take it to Fort Dragonia in Homeworld where you take the elevator down. There's an incubator there where you can hatch the egg into the adorable, awesome, cute and very needed to exist puppy dragon doggy thing Draggy. For Janice, you have to defeat her in all three rounds of the Grand Slam tournament. This can be a bit tricky, but there are guides out there on how to do that. You can even do that with just using the normal monsters they give you. I will go briefly over what to use in which round, but not into detail, this is not the guide for that. In the first round, use Wrath, Snip Goblin, and Snob Goblin. Lagunate, Crossbones and Bulk for the second round. And lastly, Total Chaos, Cat Burglar and Goobledygook. Use either the Ice Breath you can find at Water Dragon Isle or the Ice Gun that you can find at Luca's house in Another World's Hermit's Hideout. Then you need to take Poshul to the exact same place but in the home world and let it dig out Turnip. The character, not the vegetable. That is a turnip. So it is a vegetable, but also a character. Also, also, how are I supposed to find this out without a guide? You can find an item in another world's Hydra marshes that is called the Life Sparker. And you will need that to get Neo Fio. Once you have this item, go to where you recruited Lucia and sprinkle it into the little pond on the balcony there. After that, Neo Fio is yours. Okay, Skelly might not be the hardest character, but maybe the longest one to get. First, you need to go to the fossil valley of your homeworld to start his side quest. You can find a man hanging on a ladder there that, well, you have to lie to saying that you are the exorcist he waits for. After doing that, Climb the ladder up and collect the skull you can find at that screen, starting off the hunt for the rest of his body. His angry scapula is found in a cave behind a waterfall in Shadow Forest. In Goldolf, you can find his pelvic bone by talking to the element trader there. There's a cave-like hole near chest in the Hydra marshes, where you can find his good backbone in. The sturdy ribs are held by an explorer on Homeworld's Water Dragon Isle. And finally, the mixed bones are on the Isle of the Damned in the top left 
there's a hole where you find these. After collecting all these parts, the skeleton is yours. Pip is an interesting character. You can get him by unlocking his cage while being in the Viper's Manor while you search for the Frozen Flame there. Later, on the SS Invincible, you find him again where you have to chase him around a bit until he joins you. He is able to evolve like a Pokemon based on the elements you use on him. If you let him use and equip white, blue and green elements, he will turn into an angelic form, while with black, yellow and red elements, he will become a demonic form. You can evolve one more time after this into a more demonic form or more angelic form if you use the same elements as before, or if you use the opposite elements, he gets a mixed form of both. I like this little guy and I like the system with it evolving as well. And I think it's good that this resets with every new game plus you do. Also after the Frozen Flame events at Viper's Manor, go to the Termina Shrine and find Greco there. That's it. Again, Shadow Forest, Cave, Waterfall in front of Cave. Go inside, find a man, he gives you stew. After taking the stew, go find the mushroom in the underground waterway and bring it to him. After that, hilarity ensues and he becomes yours. Fun, and yeah, that is how you should pronounce that because of Fun Gogh, the famous painter, which his name is based on and his father's name as well, is easily found at his home, which is in Homeworld's Termina. However, he just won't join you by talking to him. You also have to tell him you are really looking for the frozen flame. Like, really, really, no joke. You are looking for this thing. He kind of likes that and well, that boy will be yours. Find Snaff in the dressing room on the SS Zalbus after the events there and talk to him. Once again, that's it. Orla can only be recruited while you are still stuck in Lung's body. You have to go to her, which is in another world's Goldolf, and then battle her. After that, she will give you a sapphire brooch. Now you have to progress the story a little until you are back into Surge's body. Show her the Sapphire Brooch again and then she will join up. Okay, finally only two characters left. Lynx will only be briefly in your party. But when he leaves there's no way to get him back. You just can't get him permanently. That's, that's just... However, how is a bit more tricky. You see, she joins you also quite briefly, but there is a way to have her permanently. That is, by doing a new game plus, you have to do one new game plus for this, and while she is in your party, go with her to defeat the last boss. This will unlock her in the character unlocking thing you can do with the Chrono Cross, which we will elaborate on right now. To get every character, you just have to play the game until you get the Chrono Cross, and with that in hand, go to Sprig's house and use it there. After you have done that... I hope this guide was helpful to you. And tell me in the comments below who your favorite character is and what your party looked like in this wonderful game. Also, if you enjoyed this video, summon the like and subscribe button as well as the little bell with your own Chrono Cross. Then check out the links in the description to my Twitter and Instagram where I post stuff and keep you updated whenever I upload a video or do a live stream on Twitch, link also down there. I hope to see you there as well and until next time, bye bye!